Good morning. William Rivers over here. One of the like water roti. Iburu, Iboya, Ibochiche. So, a follow up video to the previous video, which encompasses Aperikun Lo. I wanted to give you guys some history, some pataki about Aperikun Lo. So, when the world was created, each plant that came to the world, <clears throat> aside for the aside from the original four, which we discussed previously, was given um, its virtue. Each plant was given its virtue, its grace, its power, its spirituality, its purpose to heal, to solve problems, to give life, to take life, whatever the case may be. <clears throat> And it was up to man to discover these plans and to seek out knowledge from the Orisha with regards to these plans. So in one Pataki, this one particular village was plagued by death, by malignant forces and spirits, egums, that would take people before their time and all these dark spirits all these dark egums and Iku himself in this one village was controlled by one woman a very devious woman she was an Iyami she was a witch and she could control these spirits so the inhabitants of this this village this town you know they were fed up with it you know so they want to go see Orumela for Osodi in this Odum Musin, Osala for Beyo. And the villagers said to Orumela, why is it that whenever you're here, you know, you're never plagued by Iku, you're never plagued by these dark spirits, you know? And Orumela said, well, in Osala for Beyo is where the virtue of Aberikun Lo uh, came to be. Orumila prescribed in Osala Fobio that all the villagers and all the people of the town perform paraldo, which is kind of like a rompimiento, to remove egum, to remove dark spirits and death. So they all did that, and Orumila prescribed to them to take abericun lo, to take baths with abericun lo, to wash their face, their neck, their arms, their shoulders, um, to remove death, and to walk with a stick of abericun lo to avert death, to scare death away, to scare Egun away. 